This is the video review for Transformers Universe Dinobot. Um, as you can see, he's a raptor, kind of like he was in the show. Um, slightly different uh, paint markings on him. In the show, he was more of mostly this color with some dark brown stripes. They kind of reversed that for the raptor mode, but it's not bad. Um, you can kind of see his robot mode feet in the back here, but I think they did a fairly decent job of disguising that on the back of the robot feet. Um, he does have some kibble issues here. You can see his arms just kind of sit under uh, the dinosaur mode. I found that if you flip the hands back and interlock the claws here, they don't stick out quite as much. You don't see all that orange behind them. Uh, but all in all, not a bad dinosaur mode. And we can open his mouth. And that's about that for dinosaur mode. Um, for transformation, you want to pull the tail off. You just kind of pop that up. And just for, for reference, you can see there's a couple slots here on this tail. And they go on these two tabs here between his hips. Uh, so when you, you I tried to slide it in, slide it in like this for the longest time. And when you go to put it back on, you kind of want to just come from the top and pop it down. That's the easiest way to lock that thing back on. Um, just as a going back to dinosaur mode tip. But we'll take that off and we'll set that to the side for right now. And then we want to stand them up like this. And then the feet, you actually flip these down and over. And then rotate the entire foot around. Down. Rotate. And you do it in, do it in either order. But down like that. And then for the Logs. This is, and this is kind of neat. I like this bit. You pull the thighs off and they come down. You want to flip these little bony protrusions out. And that can be a little difficult depending on how you catch it. Um, and then this piece comes down, rotates. You'll see there's a little slot here for this hinge. Um, but you snap that onto the leg and then wrap the spikes around his leg. It does give him some bulk behind his legs, a little bit more bulk than he should have, but it's a very nice way of bringing these bones down around his shins like he had on the show. I'll just do the same over here. Flip these out. And down. Oh, snap it in there. For the upper body, what you do is lift his dinosaur arms up and pull these flaps down to the side. And then you're going to just flip his arms out like that. Now this flap right here, uh, normally it's spring loaded. The spring will hold it all the way up against his face, and when you pull it down, it'll spring back. But that was causing some problems in robot mode. So basically, you can see the spring edge sitting right there uh, right on top of my finger basically what I did was there's a little hole right there right above the pin that the spring latched through this through and I just took a little staple and pushed it through there and popped the spring off and now it still stays just fine uh, without the spring but it doesn't spring up and cause any issues I'm um, just a simple thing um, I also cut a little couple little notches under here let the dino head sit a little more flush in robot mode. You don't have to do that. Um, it was just something I did. So, just for the sake of full disclosure. Anyway, you get the arms out. And uh, then you pop the dino head down into the chest. Um, and then the legs here, you know, take the waist pieces and push them together. And they will slide side to side. You want to kind of line them up in the middle there. And then you take these pieces up and fold them up inside the arms there and that fills out his chest Then the arms come down now the instructions say to leave to flip these shoulder panels up like this and leave the arms sticking out to the sides like that which I think looks a little silly I, I do tend to leave the, bring the shoulder pads up a little bit I kinda angle them down and then angle the arms back um, it helps give him a little bit more bulk up, up on top of his shoulders 
um, without having the dino dinosaur arms all over the place. Now, um, one of the neat features here in robot mode you can see already is right here on his dinosaur head. There's a little square. Right now, it's just dinosaur skin, but you can flip it to be either a Predacon symbol or a Maximal symbol, which is kind of neat. Um, I usually just leave it as the dinosaur head. Um, but you can put it wherever you want. I think it's a neat feature. Um, as I mentioned before, he, like, when you have the claws out like this, he's got his um, claw hands like he did on the show. Um, you can also, and you, and you have to do this to hold the tail weapon, uh, you can flip a, a normal hand out and put the claws in there and flip the claws back. Um, and then the tail weapon it doesn't spin, unfortunately, like the old one did, but it splits open. Basically, you want to, right here, you split the two sides open. And you can see there's a missile inside, but you take this, fold it to the side, fold the tail bit in. Um, and that's his, it's very evocative of a spinning blade weapon. And his hand, you have to have the normal hand out, fits right in the slot like this. And he can hold it. I mean, he's quite stable. You can see it's not actually resting on the ground, but he's not falling over. He's, he's quite a stable figure. I'll move him back a little bit. Um, the, there's a little button right here that shoots the missile. Um, and that's really all there is to that. We'll pop it off. Um, and the, the missile, as I said, is sculpted to look kind of like a sword. It's clear orange, but it looks kind of like a sword. Um, he can hold it in his hand, just like his normal hand. Um, you can also, um, if you want to flip this down, you, you're, he's able to hold it in his claw hands, if, if you'd like. The tail section, um, I usually fold up like this. I leave the tail section folded in, and let this hang off to the side a little bit. You can see the button here is also the launch for the launcher is also a little hook, and there's a little groove right back there behind his head, so you can snap that on and store that behind him. It looks a little a little bit silly from the side, but um, it doesn't really add a, a whole lot of noticeable bulk from the front in robot mode, and you still get a pretty nice looking Dinobot figure. And again, he doesn't have the show accurate colors. I don't know why they decided to do this on the universe, but he's purple and, like I said, he's already the darker brown from Dino Mode, but he's got purple here instead of the, the royal blue and like this weird so yellowy gold color. Um, and I've seen pictures of just the uh, Beast Mode of the Henke version, and um, it does look like he's got the correct royal blue and the correct kind of goldish chrome, orangey gold chrome, that or, not chrome, but orangey gold uh, plastic that really matches the colors of the original Dinobot. I haven't seen his robot mode face. Um, I suspect he's probably got a chromed helmet and we'll see how that looks but um, I definitely plan on picking up a Henke version at some point because it looks like it's probably going to be color wise and more show accurate. Um, and really I probably wouldn't, if this, this gold I wouldn't mind so much if they had the proper blue. It's just his face is purple and it's, and it's weird to me. Um, but it's, it's a decent mold. I just wish the paint was better. Um, and that looks like it's going to be fixed on the Japanese release, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, size comparisons. Um, here he is with uh, the Universe Cheetor. And they're almost exact op opposites. Um, Universe Cheetor, I think, has a very, very nice cheetah mode. Um, but his robot mode suffers for it a little bit. Um, whereas Universe Dinobot, I think, has a very nice robot mode. Maybe you could tweak a few things here and there, but, but overall a very, very nice robot mode. Um, but with the arm kibble and, and, and the feet and stuff, I think his dinosaur mode lacks a little bit for it. Um, of, of the two figures, if you could only get one one of these two figures, I'd definitely go with Dinobot. I think overall he, he's the stronger figure. Um, but they're, they're the strengths and weaknesses um, of those two. Um, here he is with his buddy Rat Trap. You know, they kind of had that grudging relationship throughout the whole series. And um, 
ultimately you knew they were friends, but they were always bickering back and forth, so I thought it appropriate to show him next to Rat Trap. And just for a comparison with a fellow Predacon, um, here he is with Transmetal Tarantulas. Um, and you can see he's a little bit taller than they were. I think they, I think they robot-wise, they were about the same height, um, but I could be wrong on that. Now, in scale with with Optimus, um, he's definitely like again. If this were season one, uh, I think Dinobot is a little bit taller than that compared to Optimus. Um, I think I think they were they were closer in height to each other, closer in size and bulk. But um, you know, there's there's different different class figures, leader class or ultra class versus deluxe. So there's obviously going to be a difference there. Um, but not a bad. I mean, they, they look good together. Dinobot does look good uh, sitting on a shelf with some other Beast Wars figures. That's all I have to say. Um, also, um, I want to thank everybody who has welcomed Mike to the channel. Uh, a lot of people have been asking and you know, talking about that. It's not me doing some of these reviews. Uh, this is my friend Mike. Um, he's actually over in China. He's going to He's going to be doing some reviews and, and getting us some, some good first looks at some of these new uh, Transformers movie and um, upcoming animated figures and things like that. And um, and that's why he's here. He doesn't have a channel of his own. Um, he may spin off into one eventually. Um, I'm helping him work on his video reviews. Um, I'm giving him an audience. And, and you guys have given him some great criticism so far. And I appreciate the constructive stuff. You know, just the, I don't like Mike. That doesn't help a whole lot. Um, but 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 we are working on it. We're hoping to get a standard uh, type of review set up. Um, get a little bit more cohesion between my reviews and his reviews. Um, but we're working on that. And like I said, he's new to it, so please you know take it easy on him. Give him a chance. I I, I think you're going to get some really good stuff from us um, in the coming weeks as as we work on everything and start you know really getting a a thing going back and forth between the two of us. Um, there are, you see that he's done a lot of reviews in the last couple of days, um, giving us some looks at some good figures, and I think we're going to get a lot more surprise and early and um, good looks at some movie figures. I think it's going to be win-win for everybody, um, and I appreciate those of you who, who have welcomed him and, uh, and helped out with some criticism and, and constructive criticism on, on the videos. Um, so that's what's going on with that. If you see a different background or a different voice, it's probably not me. It's probably Mike. Um, and I'm sorry for the confusion. I know a lot of people were asking where I was or if I was sick, and I had to explain several times that it just it was just the fact that it wasn't me is, is why you're hearing a different voice there. Uh, but I think overall it's going to be good for the channel. It's going to be good for, for Mike if he wants to spin off into his own channel down the road, and I think it's going to be good for all of you and all of us because being over, over overseas and being able to get some of these figures you know, without having to wait a week for shipping, we're going to get a lot of... Um, a lot of good looks at some of these figures that are coming out. Um, so j just bear with us. We're, we're getting in order, and, and again, thanks for all the support. Um, but anyway, now that I've set, said that piece, here you go. Transformers Universe Dinobot. Um, I, I definitely recommend him. Pick him up if you see him. He's a, he's a great figure.